guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today we have a Zara haul as you can tell by the title I'm super excited to film this video I've got some homeware bits some fashion bits I'm gonna do the fashion first I think today do all the try on clips for you so you can see what they look like on and then I'll show you all the homeware bits that I've picked up at the end of the video so if you haven't already make sure you're set relaxed put your feet up grab a drink and some snacks and let's get into the video. So in true Zara form, they have sent me three different boxes for my order, of which the first one is this minuscule little box with just one item in. So I'll show you this first. I was actually really excited for this one because it's something quite similar to another top that I already own from Zara. It's this beautiful satin champagne kind of creamy colored crop top which is like a corset style it's got the boning down the front which gives a really nice structure and it's got slight cow neck on the front just full straps at the back it's got a hidden zip on the side and it is similar to one that i've got already from zara but the other one that i've got is more of a bra style you know where you can actually see the cup detail so i just feel like in certain situations this one will be a little bit more appropriate i feel like the other one's good for like date night this one, however, is one that I'm probably gonna wear to an occasion tonight where lots of Tom's family is gonna be there. So yeah, that's why I decided to pick up this one. It was $22.99, which for the quality and everything, I do think is a good price point. I got it in a medium and that is my first purchase. You'll see within this haul that I definitely have some new additions to my spring wardrobe, which is so exciting. This top included, it is a beautiful top, which is kind of, again, the cropped style. So nice with high-waisted trousers or maybe like a satiny slip skirt, again, high-waisted. It's got the boning on the front here. All of this bit is structured so that it stays in place whilst the shoulders or the, the straps, I should say, sit off shoulder. So it's a really pretty detailed top. I feel like I was lacking nice tops for like nice top and jeans and heels type outfit. It was also only $5.99 in the sale, which I think is an absolute bargain. It's in a medium. Its full price was $19.99. If you are new here, firstly, welcome. And I hope you will stick around and subscribe if you like what you see. But if you are a regular viewer, you will know that I don't venture too much towards colorful items however i do have this dress in this gorgeous rich emerald green it was new in at 49.99 i picked it up in a medium and it's a tunic style kind of dress in this beautiful linen fabric i just fancied a switch up you know i see this green everywhere it's like the typical kind of balenciaga green i just think it looks beautiful with a tan so i thought i would try this out i am however still undecided on the actual shape of specifically the neckline with that kind of tunic moroccan style i love that the idea of that but on me i don't know if it suits me so i've still undecided on this one so let me know what you think yet again another pop of color this time red i do feel like i love red on me and i do have a couple of red pieces for the odd night out date night that kind of thing however i decided to go for this because yet again like i was saying a nice top and jeans outfit or nice top and some trousers outfit again in this lovely linen fabric good for the summery warmer months in a medium 25.99 this one however it was in the sale we all know i love a bargain find and again this one was only 5.99 i mean if these are still in stock i'll leave everything linked below in the codes and everything but if it is still in stock with zara who knows they might have even been reduced further because they quite often do structural price drops don't they so 5.99 though for a little top like that i think is a bargain next up i have a lovely linen shirt and again another color that i have been loving is greens and kind of olive greens khaki greens this is a really nice light shade of green i just thought linen shirts would be a great staple to my wardrobe in a medium 27.99 good length for maybe if you're just wanting to wear it a bit more relaxed and undone look with maybe just some cycle shorts or something and dress it down love a linen shirt over a bikini as well so yeah picked that one up but i also picked up another one this one was 29.99 again in a medium and i picked this one up because of the 
neutral kind of tone to it. It does say it's stone online, but I do feel like in person, it's kind of a gray, almost a tinge of like a lilac-y purpley undertone to it. So I'm unsure on this one. I feel like it's not quite the color I imagined it would be. It also seems a little bit shorter than the other one. So definitely one you can get away with as a beach dress. It's more uh, of a shirt. So then I saw this beautiful satin dress on their website and it reminded me of, in fact, it's very similar, if not the exact same as my green one that I have from Zara, which I wore um, to like a Christmas girls night out, which I did actually post an Instagram photo of. I'll pop it on screen so you can see which one I'm talking about it's basically the same but in white and this on holiday in an evening I just think would look so beautiful it was 29.99 I got it in a medium and it is quite a short dress I will say that but it has like a double layer to it on the bottom half which I quite like I also love the neckline the open neck detail and that little cinching on the side there I think is quite flattering next up I got this basic knit top it's a very thin lightweight uh, round scoop neck top it is a lot thinner than I imagined it would be so I feel like it's going to be one of those tops it's quite sheer $17.99 this one was it does feel lovely I'm just undecided with it being as sheer as it feels like it might be. But then again, it is a really good staple, a great basic to have. I bought three pairs of satin, not satin, wide leg trousers. This first pair is a kind of satiny feel though. And actually of the three, this is my, I wanna say least favorite pair. It's creased quite easily. I also feel like when fabrics are a little bit thinner, you can see every lump and bump. Do you know what I mean? I did get them in a small at $49.99. That's another thing I'd recommend, size down in these ones. Those ones were $49.99. And then I also picked up two more pairs of which they're both the same style at $29.99, just in different colors. And I got them both in a small as well. Now with these, I will actually say, these are two different colors, just side by side comparison. I will say that I do actually think I probably would have been better off with a medium just so that they flowed a little bit nicer it's actually a really nice quality fabric nice thickness to it and unlike the other ones which are a bit thinner so yeah that is the cream color i think definitely the more versatile color of the two however i do already have a cream pair like that from primark which i like so um i also picked up this khaki and i do actually think on this occasion I may keep the khaki, send the nude ones back. Just so that I've got a bit of versatility within my wardrobe. This color would look lovely with just a basic crew neck white t-shirt and even just with my like Vasia trainers. Last item of clothing before sharing with you the home bits, which for me from Zara are always my favorite. Uh, but this is like a tunic style or like waistcoat style um, coat, I would say, like an outer layer. They describe it as an oversized waistcoat with belt in ecru at $45.99. I got this one in a medium and it does fit lovely actually. I think when you've got a tie waist detail, you've always got the option of cinching it in. So if I'm undecided, I always just go for the, the larger size. So a medium for me, I think works well. It's a gorgeous oatmeal color. I'm still unsure on how to style that up because I don't have anything like it. They've just paired it with some jeans, a little bralette, but I think that's more just to be able to show the item. That's all the clothing items that I've been picking up recently. So let's move on to the homeware now. Let me know which was your favorite of the fashion items. And then now time for the homeware. So I didn't go too crazy today. I've got a few items because how can I resist doing a Zara shop without picking up some homeware bits? Oh, in fact, these are exciting. I've got two pairs love Zara packaging I got two pairs of slippers or like house shoes of which one pair I had fully intended on buying for my mum as like a bit of a mother's day gift I thought she would like them I love the drawstring bag that it comes in let's just give a moment to that with the little Zara home branding on the bottom drawstring I keep all of these I have them in fact the wiring for this ring light. I keep them in a Zara little duster bag like this. I just think they're so handy to have. My hair's caught in my bracelet. So anyway, I got this with the intention of giving them to my mum because they were in this sale and they only had a size nine and she's an eight, but I feel like slippers, you can get away with sizing up. 
However, they fit me and I'm a six and a half to a seven. They're probably a size too big for me, but I'm keeping these because if they fit me, they're definitely not going to fit my mum. And they were in the sale for only $4.99. Does it say what they retail for? $19.99 they were full price, which in itself I think is pretty affordable. But $4.99, I'm so happy that they actually fit me. So sorry, mum, but I'm keeping these. They're honestly just a lovely house shoe, slipper style slider for spring and summer, love them. And then the other pair that I got, I did get for me. So I got them in my size, I got them in a six and they don't fit. Well, I mean, I can get them on, but they feel like they might rub a bit at the back. So I've decided to keep the other ones. I'm gonna return these, although they are beautiful. They're a kind of ballet style pump shoe with almost like a sole as well. That's why I feel like they're called house shoes because they're not designed to be worn outside, but they do feel like a shoe. Lovely kind of linen texture and beautiful color, nice and neutral. They were $9.99, those ones. Next up, I've got this lovely, oh, nearly dropped it then, flower pot with a kind of antique finish to it. So a really rustic, distressed looking pot. That just rustic kind of ceramic textured finish though i just think is beautiful i think they had some other colors for these as well it's 11 11 here's your little 11 11 gratitude 9.99 this one was okay next up i got these two i mean they wrapped these both together they're from the same kind of range but i am keeping one i'm going to send one back i'll show you why because this plate dish oval dish which I do love. I thought it was going to be a far bigger kind of platter style dish. The way they had this styled up on their website was with a fish. So um, for like a serving dish type thing. And that just for me was a little bit misleading because I thought it was going to be this massive fish on this bigger dish. It is however quite small. Nonetheless, it's really pretty, but it was $15.99. So I do think that's kind of steep for this size. However, also from this range is this little server, but you could use it as a little spoon rest, but they had this, you know how you have a dish served with a little side garnish or something. This one was only $5.99 and I do love the, again, the texture of this, the color of it, the irregularity, the distressed kind of texture finish. These were in the sale at only one pound. They're just some brown craft tags, which I love for any kind of gift wrap. Whatever the occasion, I feel like a brown craft paper goes. And they're a really thick cardboard as well, which is nice. Although having had a look, I've just realized, obviously they don't come with any kind of a jute ribbon or anything to attach it to a gift. So, I mean, I have a whole twine roll, so that's fine, but just bear that in mind if you are gonna pick those ones up. And then this is something really interesting that intrigued me to the point of purchasing it, even though it was $17.99, and it's just this tiny little box of papier d'armini. It's essentially a little piece of paper. So it's traditionally used to deodorize and parfum to scent. Uh, so whether you pop it in wardrobes or cupboards, drawers, however you wanna use them in small spaces, they come with, this pack comes with how many? Six little booklets. Let me come in closer so you can actually see what you're looking at six little booklets and in each one it looks like so with a little individual pieces of the paper that you just rip off and pop within again like i say drawers or however you want to wherever you want to put them the last item that i picked up and whoever is zara's designer i think deserves an absolute medal for this one love it it was in the sale because i believe it is from kind of christmasy time it's a fragrance set in the scent chimney which is a very smoky kind of scent which i think i've had something from the chimney range before i don't see chimney as a particularly festive scent it's a very smoky woody deep aroma that I feel works nice in like a dining room, a library type room, a little reading nook, a front room if you've got a log burner, moss, birch and cedarwood. It's styled up like a book. So you open it up here 
and the front page is like a book page what does that actually say on it it says it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves william shakespeare in this beautiful gold font and then inside is the actual product so in here you get the two little candles they're kind of larger than a votive i'd say they're just like an individual candle this is the size of them and then they're kind of in a really mossy green oh you're not gonna be able to tell on camera but a, a real like mossy green glass let's see if i can make you see the color of this a bit better this is the little diffuser that comes with black reeds as well which you can pop in and i just think this would look lovely because it's in the style of like a book all the individual pages are paper like honestly i just love that rustic feel in tom's room his kind of accent color is this beautiful mossy kind of green color so i think this would look lovely styled up in there so that is everything that i have picked up recently from zara let me know which were your favorites i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video do give it a thumbs up if you did and please do stick around and subscribe if you haven't already i know i say this at the end of every video but it really does make all the difference to my channel if you do actually subscribe so it would help support me so so much if you would do so and i hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.